Well, I finally got this system here completed. I've been uh, out of commission for the past few days. You could probably hear it in my voice. I got hit with the flu real bad. Um, so I was, I was down, wasn't able to even move or do anything for a few days. So um, we're back at it. I just came out here earlier and wired this system up. Um, I had the piping already all done before I, I got sick. Um, so yeah, I just had to come out here and finish up this wiring on this one. Uh, this system's pretty cool. It's pretty uh, compact. This is for a four, uh, well, a single zone four loop um, radiant floor system. Um, this is going to be mounted up on the wall, of course. But the idea of this was uh, there's an addition going on um, next to the basement where this will be mounted. So the idea is that the loops will be coming in through a new hole that'll be cut in the foundation and they're gonna come in sideways and just loop right up into here. So that's why these are up top. Typically these are down lower for going down into a floor. Um, but in this situation, uh, it's gonna work out perfectly like that. So uh, a good example of that we can configure these however you need them. Um, every single system is custom built um, as needed. So all my customers give me their inputs. They tell me what they, whether it's their preference or, or maybe sometimes they want uh, a recommendation from me. But no matter what, we'll figure it out. We'll walk through all of the details, all of the info on your side, and we'll come up with the best plan uh, to, to make a, a custom system for you. So um, this one has is actually a heat-only system. It's not a combi like a lot of the systems you've seen in my other videos. So um, the difference between a heat-only system and a combi is that You'll notice a few things. Um, for one, there's a lot less stuff going on uh, below the boiler because we're not dealing with domestic hot water, so there's no uh, additional um, service valves for the domestic water. Um, there's also not there's no auto feed. Um, even on this new heat only version of the NHB, this is the Navian NHB H. Uh, that's the latest and greatest they came out out with uh, last year. Um, and they, what they did make a changes is they added the ability to have three zones internally, whereas the NHB older ones can only control one zone. Um, in this case, it wouldn't matter because it is only one zone. Um, but the only other thing they didn't add was the auto feed. So um, when you don't have an auto feed connection port, you need to still use a um, pressure regulator and backflow preventer. Um, this is a combination one, uh, but you need some way to fill the system. So um, typically the combis you see me use with the auto feeds will automatically regulate the system pressure at uh, 12 PSI or whatever you set it to. Uh, so you need to add an external um, fill point, which is this. This is a Taco backflow preventer and combination um, pressure regulator that's preset at, from the factory at 12 PSI. You can see right here, you just uh, loosen this up, turn this to adjust, but it's preset. It even says it right here, preset 12 PSI. So um, that's one difference. The other difference is the manifold. Um, these heat only versions do not come with an internal pump for the primary loop. So the manifold that you purchase comes with the flanges in order to be able to add on um, a system pump. Now you need to size this system pump accordingly to the size of the unit that you purchase. So depending on the BTU requirements that this uh, boiler provides, that's the size pump you'll have to uh, size to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is actually identified in the manual. So it'll tell you what size pump you need for various different brands and you could also do your own calculations or at least come up with equivalent if you're not using something like Grunfos or Taco. Um, but in this case it actually is a 0015. You can adjust the speed accordingly as well. Um, this system I also size the pump with an uh, 0015 on the secondary loop. So that's what this uh, circulator is here. We'll probably run that on high. Um, for this situation, um, everything I've explained in a lot of different videos, there's a lot of different reasons you would choose certain pumps, certain speed settings and whatnot. So those are all part of when we do a design, you know, we run all those calculations and that's something I could walk you through as well. If you want me to just simply do a design for you and not build your system. Um, so yeah, this one's, uh, was pretty <clears throat> fun to build. Um, I don't do a well, I, I do a lot of heat only, a lot of combis, but lately it's just been tons and tons of combi systems, which are great. I have one in my own home, um, but every time 
every once in a while somebody wants a heat only version so um, yeah this system's ready to uh, just get finished up cleaned up and um, customers gonna pick this one up in this case so hope you guys like this video if you got any questions of course leave comments email me my contact info is always in the description and on my channel um, I guess with that said we'll see you guys on the next one